security tronics. The image of quality. This video will show you how to install hard drives and DVD burners in a Securitronics 8700 series DVR like this 8716. All you need is a number two Phillips screwdriver. Begin by removing the case screws, two on each side of the DVR, two on the other side of the DVR, and the two screws at the top of the rear panel. These are the only screws that need to be removed. Once the screws are out, Remove the top of the case by pulling slightly backward and up on it until the case comes off. Get any wires out of your way. This bay is the one where your primary drive will go. This would be a secondary hard drive or a DVD burner. This is a half terabyte Seagate hard drive that we're about to install. In the plastic bag that comes with your DVR, you'll find three packages of screws. The largest silver screws are for installing hard drives. There's also a bag of DVD burner screws, which are slightly smaller threads and have built-in washers. And the black screws are extra case screws, just in case you lose any. Set four hard drive screws aside. This is where the hard drive will sit. There are four threaded inserts on the bottom of each drive, where the screws will fasten. These line up with the four bowls on the bottom of the DVR. Let's install the cables first, because it's easier to do before the drive is screwed in. First, the power cable. There are two data cables. The one on the left is for a second drive or DVD. This one on the right is for your primary hard drive. Let's put that in. While holding the drive roughly in place, we'll use one of the first hard drive screws to get the DVD burner properly into place. Once that first screw is in place, it's very easy to line up the holes for the remaining screws. Install the second, third, and fourth hard drive screws. Make sure they're snug but not overly tight. A second drive would go on the right side, turned 90 degrees from the first drive. Install the remaining data and power cables the same way you did on the first drive, and you're done. If you're using a DVD burner instead of a second drive, like this unit here, We'll put it in the second bay on the right, where the second hard drive was just shown. We'll install it into these two holes on the side of the case, and these two holes on the inside. Place the drive in place with the front of the drive right side up and facing the door on the front of the DVR case. These two corners are a tight fit, so you'll need to do a little bit of wiggling to get the DVR into place. Once you have it slid forward into place, check the door on the front. If the door is popping out, you want to pull the drive slightly back. Shift the DVR unit back and forth until it looks like the door is sitting properly. You'll know when the drive is lined up in the right place, because the brackets on the side will show the threaded holes of the drive through the holes in the mounting brackets. Let's put two screws in there. We'll be using the DVD burner screws that have the small flat washer built into them. Install the first screw. Then the second. On the inside, we'll be using this threaded hole and this one here. Install two screws in these locations as well. And your drive is done. Check the front to make sure that the door has a nice even flush fit and isn't sticking out. Now we'll put in the power cable and the second SATA cable and your DVD burner is done. Power up the unit and check to make sure that the door opens and closes smoothly. Now let's log into the unit, go to the main menu, then the advanced menu, and then HDD manage. And there is our hard disk drive, half a terabyte, 500 gigabytes. Now let's back out two menus and go to record and then backup. The screen will show that our DVD drive is recognized and ready to go. When you log out of the unit and power it down, make sure you use the logout menu and choose the shutdown option. Then you can safely remove power from the unit. We hope this video was helpful. Remember to check the securitytronics.com website on the support tab for more. Securitytronics. The image of quality.